back to Kahai Diary. So for today's video, it's a sit down vlog. And I know it's been a while since I last did this and I really missed it a lot. Since before in my previous videos, I've been doing usually like daily life types of videos. And ayun. so do let me know which you guys prefer. If like you guys want like raw types of vlogs, day in the life. Maybe hauls, tutorials, or sit down videos like this one. Or maybe halo halo, like jumbled up all together. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below. So, there. So, for this video, as you can see in the title below, I'm going to be sharing what's on my iPhone. I know I did this last year already, but then the thing is, I want to share the layout now iOS 14 type of version since you guys have been asking me for that. So before anything else, let's drink coffee first. So this is my hot brew. I need not hot because it's cold. I put it in the ref. Vanilla latte and the drink of choice would be si Yungi. Yungi. Yungi suga. So let's drink coffee first because I need energy. Mmm. Sarap. <laughs> and I also shared this in my what's on my iPhone vlog last year that I have my own personal online shop which is called finderskeepers underscore ph and I sell there like personalized customized phone cases and other gadget related accessories but then the thing is when the pandemic started um, unfortunately I, I had to uh, pause it first so there, so most of the time, I'm just getting my phone cases from Shopee. Okay, so let's proceed. I have a total of seven phone cases, actually eight, eight phone cases that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. I just gravitate towards transparent phone cases because I just want to see the mint, the mint color of my phone. So by the way, this is an iPhone 11 and it's the, the color green or slash mint. Ayan. So maybe let's just start with this one. This is my current phone case knife now and this is also my most recent purchase. So this is a just a transparent case and then there's the print like the cow or the ox. I don't know. Um, I think this is like a theme for the Chinese New Year for this year. So there's just a cow print there and then it says there my Chinese words fat high like um, make more money fortune um, good luck like that um, and then I just find it really cute because Chinese New Year just passed like yesterday yesterday it was Chinese New Year so it's really the perfect case for me because if you've seen my previous vlog I've shared there that I've encountered so many bad juju lately so I think I just need the good luck the good lucky <laughs> for me. So ayan, so rank it la. And then this is also like kind of shockproof na hard um, jelly case, hard jelly case. And then there's also a bumper here in front which says case. Yeah. So I think these are just mostly like made um, shipped from China. But then the prices are really, really affordable. And then next one, let's hop on to the kind of like a slim case. Um, this is a slim jelly case. And then I just placed here like a dangling thingy. Na may letter N. And I really love the print because flowery siya. And I've been to flowery cases lately. Ayan. So this honestly just doesn't give any protection to your phone. But then it's cute. So next one, this is a glittery type of case. And then it's not like it's slim but then it's not flimsy like medyo matigas siya if you guys notice yan and then the print it's printed ng glitters it's not the type na natatanggal yung glitters ayan so i really like the structure of this it's firm and then there's also a co cover for your charger yan yun super cute and then lastly would be for the slim department would be this one it's just like a quirky type of case and then it says here i'm cool and then yung cool nyo yung <laughs> nose nose trills by hand yeah and so it's um kind of like a translucent type of phone case not really transparent but clear clear by the way guys for my glittery phone case for my iphone 11 i also have a matchy matchy case for that which is for my real me c11 so so cute uh, yeah it's kind of like the same then na glittery. Actually, para exactly the same pala. Ayan, para may mga stars and dot dot like that. Ayan, so it's a hard type of case lang then. And then, what's good thing about this one for the real me is that it also came with a glittery pop socket. 
yeah, it came from. I think I got this for 89 lang, so it's affordable. And by the way, guys, of course, for the phone cases that I have, definitely they also have those in other models, maybe other iPhone or Android models. So just check the link that I'll be putting. And then lastly, which is the kind of like the shop proof cases. So first one would be this one. It's kind of like a speckled type of phone case. If I remember correctly, I'll double check but then I can't find the link anymore for this one. And then next one would be this one. Parang mga face doodles line art lang siya. So I really like it. And then next one would be this, but this butterfly phone case. So it's kind of like a case if I do. So there, that ends our mini Shopee iPhone cases. So there, so that ends our iPhone cute Shopee iPhone cases. So there, so that ends our cute iPhone Shopee cases. <laughs> what? So there, so that ends our cute iPhone cases that I got from Shopee. Let's now head on to the what's on my iPhone. Hello. So tada, this is my current wallpaper. I actually designed this myself and I shared the file over on my Instagram stories before. And I'll just link it down below if you guys want the file to serve as your wallpaper or something. Ganyan. So I just um, doodled mga flowers around it and I shared here a daily reminder. Like daily affirmations and like motivations to start your day. And so let's open this up. The apps that I have are quite the same from before so I won't dwell with it too much so for the first like slide or frame it's kind of like the typical things that you see on an iPhone like Safari calendar music and all that so I just placed that them there so it's just easier to look for them and then on this side this is the widgets area so I just decided to just put two since I don't need it often anyway so I just put here the weather app the widget weather and I also like this reminder thingy so um, you can put here like reminders or like in my case I just put here like a daily um, reminder to myself so this is a verse and it says here am i now trying to win the approval of human beings or of god or am i trying to please people if i were still trying to please people i would not be a servant of christ galatians 1 10 niv and ayon i think it's just a really good reminder to myself to just please god <laughs> ah <laughs> watching your call <laughs> Ayan, so balik tayo dito. <laughs> so I think it's really just a good reminder to um, tell yourself to always please God and not the people around you like that. Something like that. Next frame is Chanan. This is the cute part. So ever since I um, upgraded my software to iOS 14, I really actually stalled it for quite a while, like maybe after a month or two or more, since I just didn't want to go through the hassle of like designing my phone since I felt like if I switched to iOS 14 um, I just had the urge I just need to have the urge to design it so finally I did it and it really looks cute okay so for this layout on top I just decided to put here a widget for my calendar so I'm actually using this app called the widget smith you just have to download that it's a free app okay so for the widget smith app you just have you can make like small widgets medium widgets as well as large widgets so um, most of the things that I'm using here are just free and then for the premium you can design it like in a more excessive way but I actually don't need that anymore so it's fine so I just have here like photos that I've used in my um, here in my layouts but then you can also switch it up depending on the photo you like so I'll show that later so the first one I just used here the calendar and I just use the um, purple one so if you click here um, click this one you can actually choose like the design of the layout of the date that you want you can also use photos instead um, you can use there's just you can actually customize everything the way you want it to look like there so for this side is my BTS BT21 character so if you clicked it um, you can put 
add in other photos that you want click this one click this one photo and then click selected photo choose photo whatever photo that you want that you have in your photos there so here on the right side i just decided to put uh, the apps that i usually go for which is facebook twitter instagram and also our daily bread this is what i use for uh, my everyday devotions and then the messaging apps like messenger viber telegram and of course shopee because i click um, shopee coins every day like to avail daily shopee coins like that and then next one would be this um, photo. I also added another widget smith. It just says here, out of mind. And what I really like about this is that the purple like matches the uh, my color palette here. And then for my background, I just also found this through Pinterest. Actually, all of these are just through Pinterest. The background, the checkered background, the out of mind photo, as well as the BT1, BT21 photo there. So here at the bottom bar, I just decided to um, change the display photo of these four. Um, with iOS 14, you can actually change the um, like the display image. You could just have to make a shortcut. But then the thing is, when you create shortcuts, this is what I really hate. Like for example, I click this. And then it pops there like a notes shortcut notification if you guys can see that. So every time I click the shortcut, that will reveal. So I had to like wait for at least a second or two before I can use those apps. So I just decided to do that in four long. So for the others, I just decided not to. But then I find it really cute. Like the colors looks like blending to each other. So I don't mind. So for this at the bottom one, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I designed these four apps, these shortcuts. Okay, so how to change your shortcut display image. You just have to click um, shortcut. So these are the four Um apps that I've used to create shortcuts. The first one would be notes, photos, phone, and messages. So what you have to do is just you just have to click select. No, not click. So you just have to click the plus button, add action, and then type in here open app, and then click here open app like that, and then click open choose and then just choose whatever app that you want to create a shortcut or like you have you want to change the display image so click open and then next and then here you can create shortcut name um 2048 and then click done so after creating that shortcut it will pop up here and then just click that we just have to click the three buttons here and then click add to home screen Chanan. and then click this one thingy here you can adjust it choose add done done Chanan. it's over there already so this is what i did with these four so this is actually my um messages this is my phone this is my photos and this is my notes app so these are also usually the apps that i usually go for so i just placed it down there okay so this is my third slide now and for the top bar i just placed here another widget photo it says here that but i am closer than i was yesterday so it's another great reminder for yourself and then for um in the middle part these are the um, all my apps already for the titles of my folders i just decided to use like emoticons super cute like bear emoticons and all that heart so i just find it really cute and so that yun lang, I <laughs> kind of like shopping related apps lazada shop back carousel get go points related and all that and then for the next folder that i have these are for transportation so i have grab lalamu ways angkas like that and then third folder would be food related naman and then for the fourth one would be kind of like movie music related and other apps so this font app is actually what i use to put the emoticons over here so there's that and then this is the widget smith that i was talking about earlier that you can use as a widget like you can design the widget anything you want pleco translate for translation and what more mm. 
episode um, for my period tracker. So next one would be, this is kind of my productivity app. So I have here my Google apps, um, Drive Photos, Chrome, and then Yeelite. This is for my um, light bulb to control the light bulb. So you can actually change the colors of my light bulb. Next one, these are all the um, photo and video editing apps that I have. I shared a deep dive type of video for this one. So if you guys want to check that out. So these are just the... I'm my patching. So these are just the apps that I use um, for editing, photo, video editing. So these are the basic ones. So these are mostly for frames and layouts. These are for video editing and other apps that you have to connect to your phone. Next one, these would be my devotion apps. I usually go for the Our Daily Bread app for daily, but then these are the other apps that you can use inspirations first five first 15 and then i also have my v live i haven't i don't usually use this but i watch run bts through here if you guys are an army yeah okay so next one these would be just two photos of my bts bias actually there it's 30 of them so this is yungi and then jk jungkook and jimin i just really find it a really really cute photo so i just place it there and yeah, gone are the days that boyfriend wong photos na nakalagay sa phone mo. Ngayon, mga bias mo na. For the last frame, these are the apps that I use for games. So, it's just Candy Crush, Very Tita, and all that. Just random games that I can play every time that maybe there's no internet or like I'm bored or whatsoever. And then, I just um, decided to place the apps through alphabetically. So, just it's just cleaner that way. I don't know, OC things like that. So, yeah, that's it. It's just really simple. But then, I really like the layout of it. I'm, I'm really happy with how cute it looks like. And it also gives me daily motivation because BTS and also like daily motivations and all that. So, yeah, that is what's on my iPhone iOS 14 version. I hope that you guys enjoyed and liked the interface of my um, phone because I really enjoyed designing it and I feel like it really changes like the look of your phone and how you use it. So, ayan, um, before I end this vlog, I just want to do a quick shout out to our community. First one would be si April Rose Lipana at April Rose Lipana. <laughs> Same lang sa name niya. And hello, sa you all. Lagi ko nakakausap like sa um, Instagram DMs ko, ganyan. So, thank you so much for supporting. And next one would be at um, min underscore Yunshi23. I think this is kind of like a stand account for Yungi. So, si Yungi, ay sakto! Si Yungi, yung ano ko ngayon, coffee ko today. So, hello then. So, thank you so much for watching and for being part of the community. Ayan. So, ayan. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And do let me know. Do let me know like video suggestions or whatsoever. I started, I know I started 2021 kind of like low since I've mentioned that in my previous vlog the man. So I'm trying my best to come up with better contents and um, I'm trying to push myself to be more um, creative and different this time around. So ayan, push tayo ayan. So because my goal for this year would be hopefully 10k subs. So let's wish na makayanin natin yon. So I hope you guys can help me out. So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching. Until the next vlog, keep safe. Bye! Have a shiny new year! Cause where we're